you're watching Game Club News. Hello and welcome to the show. Uh, we're going to jump right into it. Um, we have received some information uh, via Reddit uh, directly from Best Buy Internal about the availability of PS5s on launch day. I'll bring that up on the screen right now. This was an official internal memo that states, uh, you may know that the latest consoles are set to release in the coming weeks. We wanted to let you know what that experience will look like for you and your customers. For these consoles launch, we will not be sending any inventory to stores at this time and customers should go online for purchase if there is inventory available. What you need to know, PS5 and Xbox Series S and X will be online only for launch, all in both. No inventory will be allocated to the stores for launch date and until further notice, so through the holiday season. Um, guiders should Dang. be aware and advise customers not to come to your location. Um, launch dates for these things. Um, so this was actually Best Buy in Canada. This was posted on Reddit earlier today. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Um, to where this uh was found and then also we have a few other internal sources spread across the country that are also confirming um that best buy in america will essentially have roughly three to four hundred thousand units and it's the same deal here nothing in any stores you have to order it online yeah that's uh <laughs> that's quite a thing um <laughs> That's crazy. I, I don't know. I, I, I it's I, mostly it's got to be COVID related, right? They don't want people lining up. Absolutely. I can't think of anything else. Like, I, I guess, you know, when we heard from Target earlier that you were going to have to order online, most likely at midnight, and I'm assuming Best Buy will be the same deal. But at Target, it was there will be allocated to stores, but you have to order online with uh, in-store pickup. And then th right. it did say, I think, if anywhere available, like one of the Ask Target <clears throat> people said, if anywhere available later on, you were going to be able to go in store to pick them up. Now, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of availability. The fact that Best Buy is, I'm going to say what we've heard in numbers is short stock for, for what should be happening right now. And it's right. it's, it's clearly a um, uh, way to avoid people in store. But I also think it's due to a lack of inventory that if they tried to spread these across the country, that you're going to get like two to five per store and they're going to be sold out and the line's going to be... It's like, what's the point then almost? It's like, might as well just have it centrally located in these collective warehouses and just based on demand, right? Right, and uh, so essentially- Whatever's left anyways. Right, essentially what we're, what we're really looking at is this is basically an online only launch for this entire next gen. PS5 and Xbox One, or sorry, Xbox Series, hate the naming convention. Um, yeah. <laughs> we know that for Best Buy, those are out. Nothing in store, you're gonna be able to order online. And to be honest, a lot of bots are probably going to pick them up same thing essentially with target it sure there's going to be some allocated to store but it sounds like not a ton one of the other things that we reported on the other day was like individual stores uh multiple people saying that their store was getting roughly 40 for that in-store pickup deal um but they can you know we could not confirm if that was across the country it's like some stores right. might get five some stores might get ten but i really think that this stock is going to go fast and, and be out so be ready yeah, it's it's gonna be a heck of a launch, man. Like this is a what an awful year to like for this to line up on. Like, are you kidding me? Like, yeah, the first big jump in generational leaps besides those mid gen upgrades, and then it's like COVID. Uh, uh, <laughs> but uh, that it's interesting too, considering uh, Jim Ryan also mentioned that how many PS5 pre-orders there were and how fast they went. It's yes. like again. You know, bots are to blame for some of these purchases, admittedly, but um, that's a lot, man. So I'm wondering if they had a solid stock, they thought, for 2020, well, considering everything going on. And then they're like, oh! And they did say <laughs> that they were going to have more for PS5's launch than PS4's. Now, the fact that those numbers that Jim Ryan was like, the first 12 hours of pre-order, they sold as many units as the first 12 weeks. Sorry. That's insane. Yeah, uh, I think I might have said PS4. I meant PS5. Either way, yeah, twelve weeks of, of PS4s sold within twelve hours, equivalent of PS5. So that says a yeah. lot. Um, I think that they had like one to two million on day one, so we're looking at probably close to four million by that point. Um, they're, they're moving a lot Shoot. of units. Uh, yeah, that's 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 crazy. And like, 
again, it's that that ride in the wave, man. I mean, PS4 is so successful. They've got a built-in fan base that doesn't need to be persuaded otherwise. And they're just going to go right to PS5. Uh, PS3, it was such a shaky going into PS4. So admittedly, I could see why that would be spread out. But yeah, they're going in guns a-blazing. Yeah, so no, and so, so this is big news. For anybody out there that's looking to get one on launch day, don't go wait in the line someplace. Have several, you know, get your computer, your phone, whatever it is. Pull up Best Buy, pull up Target tabs for on your tabs. area. Yeah, absolutely. Merc, like Merc Chrome, let Chrome take all of your RAM. You're right. gonna need. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. And so, essentially, I mean, we're we're looking at an online only launch for this stuff. Not a whole lot in stores, and not even going to be a lot available through the holiday season. Um, I think it might yeah. pop up a couple more times. Um, so if we get any more information, we're going to report on that. Uh, but we just wanted to get this out there as uh, soon as possible. And once all of our information was able to be sort of confirmed by multiple people, um, that made sense where it's like, this is essentially Best Buy's um, policy across the board, Canada, US, I'm assuming yeah, any other place that they exist, um, this is what it's going to be. For sure, man. Um, good luck. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I don't mean that to be mean. It's just like, yeah. Eddie's yeah, soldier. It's, oh, man, like, <laughs> the same. I, I feel like, like uh, we've been blessed to, at least as far as we know right now, secure uh, PS5s for ourselves. So we're going to be able to report on a lot of this. Um, down in the bottom of the ticker, it's actually stating that we're going to be uh, checking out the accessories on the 30th. Um, yeah. We just got confirmation today that orders uh, have shipped, and it looks like we might be actually getting them on the 29th, so we might try and push that video out early. I know a lot of other big people have covered it, but we definitely want to give you our uh, opinion and take, and we're going to try and use them on mobile phones and um, computer and all that other stuff and actually get you know a fair bit of use out of them. Because uh, a lot of the stuff we've seen, it's like somebody unboxes it, they give their initial impression, say it's cool. And I know that we've had good stuff on Twitter about the haptic feedback, which we won't really know. But, um, you know, expect that coming soon. We're trying yeah. to get that out as soon as soon as we get enough time where we feel comfortable reporting on it. We're going to 100 percent. Yeah. Super excited. Um, crazy news. Uh, but we've got more for you throughout the week. So stick around. Yep. And until then, Game Club out. Game Club out. <laughs>